High school graduates from the frontline town of Zolotay in eastern Ukraine came to Kharkiv for a literary tour. It was the first stop in their trip across the country. One of the city's symbols is the monument to Taras Shevchenko. It's a kind of emblem distinguishing our city. It was unveiled in 1934. It's a spiral. The heroes are climbing up. The creators of the project decide to add characters to the monument to Shevchenko. The literary tours are held in the framework of the project titled Wanderers from the East. It was organized by the Ukrainian writer Serhei Shadan. He believes that the trip will help the teenagers realize the Ukraine isn't limited to the war in Donbass. I would like our children to live in a normal country, in a normal society, which wouldn't be divided by place of residence, regions, etc. I would like our country to finally feel itself, understand itself, and start living in one rhythm. Last winter, on St. Nicholas Day, the young people from Zolote made a wish to see beautiful sights across Ukraine. We all gathered and thought how to write the letter so that it would touch people's hearts, so that we would be heard. We wrote the letter, we attached our photos and decorated it. To be honest, we didn't expect a response when we were sending it. We felt that we should do it this summer. The guys got excited about this idea. And this is the sign of the 50th parallel, where Kharkiv is located. They held really interesting tours for us. They didn't just walk with us and tell us things. They also showed us everything. There were emotions. It moved me. He doesn't just walk and say, here is this. He tells about interesting facts and the opinions of Kharkiv residents about them. The project will last until August 22nd. The wanderers from the east will visit four more cities. Lviv, Chernivtsi, Odessa and Zaporizhia. Tomorrow morning the children will arrive in Lviv. They will see the city, castles and an ancient cemetery.